Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, uh, uh, wherever you may be. We are very excited that you are joining us today uh, during this webinar that is going to launch such an important initiative on the occasion of Innovation Week. Um, we have an exciting program with distinguished speakers. I'm very glad to be bringing them to you. Uh, and I think it's very appropriate that we have a top-notch panel because artificial intelligence and especially the collaboration between the United States and Europe, but especially Germany, uh, is uh, really a pre-requirement for us to thrive in what we call the cognitive economy. We are going to be talking today on a number of different levels. It is, first of all, very important for us to understand the global context uh, of artificial intelligence, specifically, of course, in the context of transatlantic relations. Well, from a German perspective, this is very easy. Basically, trust is back. Trust into the president and his team, uh, trust that they really are committed to transatlantic values, which we share, and trust into their openness for reasoned arguments, scientific evidence, and truth. And that, of course, permeates into the topics. So while it was before a question very often of managing the surprises we found we woke up to in the mornings from the president, now we can focus on the true challenges. And of course, as was expected, not all the problems are gone, but we try to solve them in a very uh, friend, uh, close and friendly manner, trusting friends. We have a tremendous opportunity before us. We have an opportunity to change the transatlantic relationship to one that is based in the 21st century. And I think that there are primarily three drivers of this. I think that one is entrepreneurism, two is innovation, and three is technology. And AI clearly will play a fundamental a role uh, in these new aspects of developing this, this 21st century transatlantic relationship. Um, but why is AI so important? It, it, it's important because it's about innovation and technology. And AI has the potential to touch every facet of our lives as we as we move into firmly into the 21st century. AI is pretty much ubiquitous and it will be everywhere. It already is. People just don't know it yet. So what we have done is we built a platform to kind of accumulate all the knowledge um, of the collective individuals that I just mentioned. And we initially started to do a few online seminars. You know, the first one is to come in, in May. This is just today, the kickoff and the launch. But then this online seminar um, turned into, you know, pretty good feedback from others. And they say, well, this is great. We have many, many topics around AI. And then you could turn this into an online virtual workshops where people who have a dedicated need need some help from experts. There could be virtual dedicated workshops, hands-on use case oriented workshops, very um, executional oriented. You could turn that into regional face-to-face -face workshops in Germany or here in the US. And then potentially you could even turn that into, you know, transatlantic delegations support that you know has been established for many many years between the U.S. Um, and Germany um, and, and and vice versa. So pretty much this platform, this initiative, um, is here to stay. Uh, I believe we have already a list of topics that can get us way into 2022. We invite everybody to contribute, to share ideas, to to be an expert, a speaker, a sponsor, whatever you would like to be. And literally, the sky's the limit. Focus on collaboration between academia and industry, building this bridge between basic research and um, applications. I strongly believe, of course, you know, that uh, we in Germany here can learn still a lot, actually, from, uh, uh, from the US in terms of entrepreneurship. Also a little bit of cultural uh, dimension here, but I think we're moving in the right direction, but we still need, uh, I think, good examples, uh, uh, push in the right direction here. Germany is very strong in AI. Lots of Germans are also operational in the valley, actually, you know, and have also shaped uh, uh, the uh, AI enterprises. AI really has tremendous um, economic um, potential for us. And, and just to put that into uh, perspective, um, China 2019 had a GDP of uh, a little more than 14 trillion US dollars. So basically AI could add another China in terms of economic value. 
the adoption of AI in the economy is, uh, is rather slow. Um, another study by the, uh, the uh, German um, uh, Ministry for Economic uh, Affairs last year showed that only about 6% of the companies in Germany have started to adopt AI. And, and those are mostly the larger ones. So if we look at the small and mid-sized business, the middle stand, um, the number is much, much lower. So we have a local AI ecosystem. Um, and the other fact that we really see is uh, critical for driving adoption of AI is collaboration. 